This is the best page builder that I have ever used when it comes to building websites or funnels, and I have tried all of them. So let me show you why and how it's structured, why it's so easy to use, why it's actually fun building funnels with ClickFunnels 2.0, and also how fast it is. So one of the updates that you'll see is the building blocks and how you implement different elements on the page. So you look at the layout here, which is basically the different building blocks. So you have like containers of elements. So the first one is a section. So you can have like medium, small, like how wide do you want it to be? I'll do full page. And then it's just gonna uh, give me the option to choose column if I just like want a headline uh, or three columns if I want like three testimonials or you know features, benefits or flex container if I wanna like customize it to my own liking. So I'll do one column with a text and click headline. So I don't have to like go open, then add another thing. It's just like, if I do the next one, you'll see full page, three columns, and then I can add an image and then I can just clone it and drag it and everything is super fast. But before we go too fast, I want to model a page that I've already built. So this is actually uh, built on ClickFunnels 2.0 and a lot of people didn't know that. Um, it's my bonus bundle for an offer that ClickFunnels have right now. And um, it's an, it, uh, what we call in affiliate marketing as a bridge funnel where you, um, instead of sending people to an offer that you recommend people use, you send it to your own bridge page first where you explain the offer and you say, if you use my link, I'm going to give you all these um, free bonuses and you basically incentivize other people to use your link. And this is how I made uh, around 40,000 in commission this week alone, which I know sounds crazy and I'm super grateful for it. And uh, it's because of the launch of ClickFunnels 2.0. So there's a lot of hype around it right now. So um, if we take a look at the text, let's actually build some of this out so you can see how it works. I'm going to copy that, paste it in here. And then I'm going to just use the style guide here to make it smaller. So you can change the settings of the style guide once, and then um, it'll update when you just choose one of those style guides. So we'll do something like, Actually, we'll do gradient. So for this one, we'll do a little darker. There we go. We'll set this to <clears throat> white and move on to the next one. Gradient online business with this free all-inclusive bundle. So we want another uh, section. We want full page on you know, one column, and then we want another headline. Um, we also want this so let's clone it drag it down right there and then also set the background for this so i think we have a navy blue something like that and um copy the text from here i'll try to be short i just want to show you how easy the, the actual editor is to use and after I build some of this, uh, I'll walk through a little bit slower so you can see, okay, like that's why you did that. And that's how you did it. All those things. Let's put this as white. Right now we're using typography, pop-ins, medium. Let's do, oh yeah, because it's a headline. We want, we'll do black or bold. We'll do bold. All right. And then... I think this is Montserrat, yeah. So we could go and update the settings to, to all be uh, Montserrat. Montserrat. And so when I add new elements, it's going to choose those. But then you can obviously customize here as well. So uh, I think I have the, head, uh, the background here already. So you can untoggle or toggle the background. Uh, you can add an image can center it, um, you could do a lot of different things. I'm gonna just click the image. I think I've uploaded it here somewhere. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna click that. There we go. And now I can choose where I want it to sit on the page. So depending on where I set this, you can see how that looks. I'll just do top center and I can also add a foreground. So let's say I want a gradient foreground and I wanna add some other texture to a texture but another like layer to the design i could do something like this um so now 
think we have an image. I'm just going to copy the image address for this one. Add element image. You can upload it, obviously, or you can set it as. Where is my image URL? There we go. Click enter. You can set this to percentage or pixels. There we go. And then uh, I'm also going to clone this, drag it down and import this. There we go. So if you want to customize some of this, you can see I can just choose one of these. <clears throat> I can also just click here and change line height. So I want maybe something around 160, same thing for mobile. I like that they have, let me take that back. I love that they've changed this. So when I change something on desktop, it already, like it takes me automatically to the desktop. I don't have to go up here, which I can and choose uh, mobile. I can just go here. So the headline, for example, if I want to mobile optimize it, I can change this to pixel. And then as I start making this smaller, can see that it took me to the mobile design. So here we go. Um, pixel, a little bit smaller, and then font size for the main one. I can go in here and play around with it. There we go. All right. So now we have this first section. It's just an image, so I can copy that as well. The way I would clone this or build this is I would clone it, delete the stuff that I don't want to use. So like this, 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 and then just add in my image right there. Make it a little bit bigger. <clears throat> I can also add in padding without having to go to... Um, the row or the section just by adding padding to the image, which is good as well. Let me actually delete the image for this one and just do background and no foreground. So just take that down to zero. Um, let me actually do it here as well, because I, <clears throat> I just put that as an example for you to see what you can do. So there we go. And now the main thing is, I'll, I'll keep the video short, but the main thing is um, first you sell them on the idea. So for me, um, just showing people like why they need funnels. And if you're watching this, you probably already know, but some people don't know why they need a sell funnel or which one they need. So you can do some of the selling first, and then you say, uh, introducing the offer. Here's what the person that you're recommending, what they're offering. And here's my bonuses when you use my link. So for me, I added the ultimate funnel uh, builder bundle. And I would just literally go in and actually let's build it out here real quick. Clone. Boom. I can make this bigger. There we go. And then these, uh, I would just make them a two column. So add row, two column. And then the way that you separate them, which by the way, we want to add some more padding down here. The way that you separate them is you add a background. So I could do, let's try the blue one for an example. Uh, we'll do corner. So you can see we have pre-selected styles for that as well. So we'll use this one, shadow. We have pre-selected styles for shadow. Uh, border, pre-selected styles for borders, and I can also change it. And I can set this to white for an example. All right, um, shadow, oh, that was shadow. Okay, corner, perfect. Now, actually, I don't want to, <laughs> I was just going to show you, but I don't want it there. Okay, so now I can just drag this. And one of the things, like a big improvement from 1.0 and 2.0 is before you had to go to like layout and then you chose the, um, you scroll down until you found, okay, now I want to edit this column. Okay, so you see that? Only this part. Well, now, and I remember when I sent this to uh, the developers te uh, developer team at ClickFunnels, I was like, it would be awesome if you had a button here 
and has been implemented. I'm not saying that I'm responsible for getting that, but uh, I did send a loom video um, like months and months ago and they fixed it. They were super uh, helpful and they built that out. So now I would add in my image. There we go. I can also set this to have corners. Okay, same style. And I can now add in headline. Actually, let me just copy, clone, drag, drop, headline. Okay, so actually I don't like this background, so I'll just do this. There we go. Oh, one thing that I like as well is I can go to this and set text shadow and I can do the same color as the funnel. So offset blur. There we go. And I can do the same here. Text shadow. Blur. And then I can drag this down if I don't want it to be super strong as well. So that's where you would put all of your uh, bonuses. So uh, shameless plug this uh, uh, ClickFunnels 2.0 launch is coming to an end. So if you want to get um, one year free of ClickFunnels 2.0 with Funnel Builder Secrets, they're offering a course with uh, 12 months of both the platforms. So if you still have ClickFunnels 1, you get it for 12 months. If you have ClickFunnels 2, you get that for uh, two months as well. And if you don't have, I mean, you get a new account 12 months for free, the highest plan with everything unlimited. And if you want to like continue after a year, you can downgrade or you can get the locked in price of like, I think it's on average 166 per month instead of 297. Um, so you save a lot of money just on that. But then I have also 11 different bonuses for people who want to build funnels, learn how to get clients and stuff like that. So here's 25 ways to get clients. We have a um, move my funnels software that helps you uh, migrate 1.0 to 2.0 in like literally seconds it just like it's a chrome extension so you uh, download data import data and you have your funnel in 2.0 funnel agency machine masterclass this is the start to finish masterclass on how i've got hundreds of clients without doing sales calls without doing proposals clients like russell brunson d carcel tony robbins uh robert kiyosaki like all these big uh, dream clients that i never thought i would be able to uh, work with and then how i close clients in um dms as well so five different recordings of me closing them like what i say then they said this then i said this and uh, start to finish like i show you everything for five different clients um and then the scripts that i use as well so there's like 30 pages of like different things that i ask clients to make the sale like automatic and effortless and then i have 10 different plug and play templates for clickfunnels 2.0 the ultimate funnel builder starter kit which is basically if you're asking yourself like what are the pages i should use what are the uh, texts that i should put on the pages well i have the roadmaps the pages and then the copywriting checklist so like here's what you should have on the page if you have this funnel if it's a book funnel you should have like these things and then a conversion rate calculator that walk you through like, okay, so if I get this many sales, like how, uh, visitors, then like how many leads and customers do I get? And then if you think it's hard and overwhelming to build um, sales funnels and write copy, then here's 13 ways to do that with this tool. I love building tools and simplifying stuff. And to your benefit, um, because whether you're in full-time funnel designer, if you buy the Funnel Builder Secrets uh, offer and you get all of these for free, like you get a lot of like frameworks and tools and templates that help you simplify everything and just like like change out the stuff that I have in there to your own and it gives you like everything you need. And then we have a private support community. Oh, and this I so the ClickFunnels offer is um is 1997, right? Is 1997. And I spent more than that to Mason so that we could add his course, which is basically recurring revenue for funnel builders. And it's through split testing and conversion rate optimization where you help clients get better results with funnels, you actually become good. And if you know anything about me, like I've talked about why the most important part of you running a funnel business is being good at what you do. And then clients come to you like more than you can handle. And Mason is a genius at conversion rate optimization. So I paid him thousands and thousands so that he can add his course into mine. And now you don't have to buy my course, you can get it for free when you just get ClickFunnels for 12 months. 
with the funnel builder secrets. And so that is included. You can just see here, um, go to the link in the description to check out everything that's included. Um, I'm not going to build everything out. Oh, I'll also give you the template for this page. <clears throat> so I'm not going to give everything. Uh, I'm not going to. Um, I'm not going to build everything out because this is basically like once you have the text and everything, you just go clone and you move this down a little bit. There you go. And then you just clone and you build it out and then you add a button, which as you can see is super simple. You can change the style of your buttons. Man, I love ClickFunnels 2.0. There's some bugs for sure but they're fixing them super fast because everyone is like starting to move their stuff over. They're using it and they're providing feedback to the ClickFunnels team. And so it's, uh, it's very, um, it's very comfortable or comforting knowing that you can just like tell them what's bugging. If you see anything and they fix it and you see the editor right now, like it's already the best editor that I have seen. You probably saw me just like building this out in what few minutes. So that's it. That's the video. Uh, let me know if you want all these free things. Uh, link is in the description and I'll see you in the next one.